Mathematically speaking, a wave is a momentum without a definite position being spread out. Particles, on the other hand, have definite positions along with momentums, hence the dilemma. Something cannot be both a wave and a particle, for then it would have to have both position and no position simultaneously, and that is absurd. Right? Wrong. Granted that you appeal to probability instead of certainty, Erwin Schrödinger forged a formula by which we can predict not the certainty of a photon's position, but the probability of its position at any given point in time. And this map of probabilities corresponds to the wave function of light or energy. In other words, Schrödinger's equation treats energy as a kind of quantum chimera between wave and particle. As long as the particle is, to put it simply, moving, it's a wave. But as soon as it interacts with something, i.e. as soon as it has to transfer its energy to something, then it reverts back to a single particle with a definite position in order to obey Planck's constant about minimum energy transfer. That's one way to look at it, as though the photon somehow shapeshifts between wave and particle. The other way to look at it is that the photon is always a particle, but its motion is not determined by the laws of physics as we yet know them. It is not a blind actor, but somehow knows that it is part of an emergent wave phenomena, and somehow knows how to coordinate or choreograph with all the other photons in order to produce that effect. The only way to find out a photon's exact position is to measure it, that is, to stop it in its tracks by forcing it to hit something and expend its Planck worth of energy so that we know where it hit. But once we do this, we cease to see its individual wave function, which has collapsed into the particle. So by measuring a particle's position, we give up on knowing its momentum, because the momentum is defined and modeled by the wave function. Thus, we have Heisenberg's famous uncertainty principle, or indeterminacy principle. We cannot know both the momentum and the position of a photon at the same time. The more we know about its momentum, the wave aspect of the photon, the less we know about its position within that wave function. And the more we know about its position, the particle aspect of the photon, the less we know about the momentum, since we had to stop the photon in its tracks in order to see it. This is what physicists mean when they talk about observation or measurement changing the behavior of the photon. This is true in the sense that in order to observe or measure a photon, we have to interact with it. But because of Planck's constant, our interaction cannot somehow get below the particle or become unobtrusive enough that it doesn't change the photon in a fundamental way, i.e. from wave to particle. Our only choice is basically to hit the particle full in the face with a baseball bat.